Welcome to Live Road Talk Show B Cruise. How's it going, guys? Great. So I have a couple points to make, gentlemen. First, we've been running for two months. Wow. Woohoo! Which brings me to my second point. I think it's about time that I took the main MC spot. Uh, I do too. <laughs> when do I get a chance to take a touch plate, huh? Uh, that's not going to be easy, guys. So how about the winner from today's challenge taking Paul's place in the ending? Oh. I mean, that sounds good, but last week I was a bit of a disadvantage with the Turkish ambassador because I don't like seafood, so I hope we don't do a challenge like that today. Well, we'll see about that. So, are you ready to go? Yep. Yeah. Let's go for B Cruise. Uh, hello, hello, ladies hello, and gentlemen. Hello, hello. Back again. We are here in Guess the black car. car. Got a strap Back in. Back again. Yeah, let's let's safe. go for safety. Let's get going. So last episode was pretty awesome. When we went to Noreangjin, and that's awesome for you. Well, that's right. Michelle. I thought it was fantastic. I loved it. Mm. That yeah, you did enjoy it. Yeah, I did. Mm. Having that. Having those, you know, octopus tentacles grabbing my throat as they go down. <laughs> doesn't sound that big. <laughs> Master Sample is joking, of course, for the viewers who didn't understand that. No, it was really good, actually. I, I like the... Uh... So... Todd, uh, my, my sat is isn't working, where are we going? I have no idea where we're going today. Ah, uh, well, we are headed to Yongsan, which is not too far away from here. And we are going to pick up our guest. Who is? Who is Monsieur mm. Christophe Pigagnol. Monsieur Pigagnol. And he is the president of Zulig Pharma. Mm, big pharma. Right, a pharmaceutical company. A little bit I know about the industry, actually, Korea is quite an important market for the pharmaceutical industry. Lots yeah. of hospitals here, yes. oh, yeah. and people are really interested in, in keeping and improving upon their health. Yeah. And yeah. there's a very, like, there's a cultural thing where you, you kind of, like, need to get over your sickness really quick, so medicine is a very, very big part of That's that. That's right. It's a traffic -y day. Yeah, maybe there's some road works going on or something, because this is, like, Leaving work for rush hour time. I mean, oh, it's 20 past eight. So we we've, we've had a bit of traffic jam today. Yeah. But did you see that video from China about you know their traffic jam problem and they're making that new type of bus, which yeah. goes over the traffic. It's like a two or three lane I straddling. That was a big thing. Bus. I did see that. It it's like it's amazing and it can carry like 1,400 people or something like that. It can carry like a load of people. Yeah, right. I, I always thought that was it, just a concept. They haven't actually made it. Are they it is a concept, to make? but they're planning to make it. And I think that's a really, really innovative oh, idea. Sure. So you can just drive right through it. Yeah, exactly. It's, cool. it's really cool. And the way it can bend around um, corners and stuff is also really cool. It would be interesting to see that in Seoul as they already have the middle bus lanes anyway. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It would be very about. easy just to put them in, into Seoul. Yeah, I, I think it's a challenge of every big city in, in, around the world how do you how do you reduce the amount of congestion on the roads and, mm. and especially when you have scooters and motorcycles like you do here and then vehicles and of course buses yeah and so several years ago okay. as you mentioned we are almost at our destination Yongsan Woo! we can see the I Park Mall uh, yes, in Park front Mall. of us fantastic you know as we were speaking about department stores anyway Hello, B Cruise. Bonjour. How are you, Christophe? Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Very nice to meet you. Ready to get in? There we go. Much better. Well, hello, hello, sir. Hello. hello. How are you doing today? Hello. Oh, ho. oh, oh, Cantonese. Welcome, welcome. Hello. Hello. How are you? Very good, thank you. 
Nice to meet you. Nice to Very meet you. Very nice to meet you. And I like your show, and I like how you pick up the hitchhiker. Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, yeah? You saw I saw that? the pickup and I was like, wow, I don't think I can dance that well. <laughs> So I don't know if you know this, but uh, B Cruise is actually a live streaming show. So we're gonna go live in three, two, two one, boom. boom. Hi everybody. Hello world. Hello world. This is our live streaming camera right here. Hello. Okay. Let's do some introductions. Yes, let's just do that. My name is Happy, I'm a YouTuber, and I'm one of the MCs of this glorious show, B Cruise. And I am Batman Giant, also a YouTuber, and an MC, and a driver for B Cruise. Good morning everyone, I'm Todd Sample, host of B-Cruise and CEO of Why Not Wednesday Korea. And we are here with our special guest today. Welcome, bienvenue. Merci. Uh, Mr. Christophe Pigagnol uh, of Zulig Pharma Korea. Thank it's you It's a very pleasure much. to have you here. Pleasure to be here. Woohoo! So where are we headed this morning? We are going to Bukchon. Bukchon. Ah, one of my favorite places in Seoul. Bukchon has this amazing part that is, um, you know, very traditional, but yet you can see a lot of modernity. And it's really mm. Korea for me. It's, oh. you know, the mix of tradition and both, right. of, of both, yeah. Right. Very Which good. Korea is embracing on, on one hand and also having a somewhat of a challenge trying to figure out how much of the past to bring forward. And ah, uh, so uh, can you introduce yourself in Korean? Uh, yeah, well. How much of a show? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. So we actually have uh, many people joining us on live stream right now. Yay! Hendrik, Jacques, Joanna Kim once again. Bonjour. Jiang Lee, hello. Rachel Leslie. Ah, uh, 1 a.m. here in London. Wow. But staying up to watch you guys. Yay! Hey. Hello, London. Oh, Joanna is from Montreal. Montreal. I'm Montreal. Montreal. Ah, okay. And someone's from Belgium. Very oh, good. Fantastic. So we know you're from France. Yes. And so which part of France are you from? So I was raised, born and raised in the south of France, mm -hmm. where you know the, oh, you know, if if I watch rugby, my arm starts to move a lot. Ah, <laughs> my emotions, okay. my emotions a come emotions come out. Emotions and the love of life from the south. But after I moved to the north to study. Mm -hmm. The friendships you develop in the north are a bit tougher to develop, but once they're there, you know, they last forever. Okay. And you know, the friendships you develop in Korea mm -hmm. also last forever. It's really amazing how we somehow find the people who have been in Korea because the experience is so intense. Right. When you go overseas, you know, you always tend to find yourself with <laughs> someone who has been right. in Korea and say, oh. What an experience we had. <laughs> well, maybe we can refer to that as Jung. Right? So the Korean Jung. Correct. Like Correct. That affection that you just develop for people Correct. over a period of time and it doesn't disappear. Correct. So, um, we're just passing Seoul City Hall. There you go. How would you like Seoul since you've been around the world? Seoul with its intensity, with the, mm -hmm. you know, you still discover things. I guess, you know, for all of us, there are new things happening in Seoul right. every time, so right. it, it, it's an amazing city, really. So your your first impression of Korea was... Intense. Intense, <laughs> oh, wow. and, and also, you know, Korea is very sophisticated, mm -hmm. you know, so people are still continuing in their uh, intent to have more sophistication. That's right, so that's it, right. it's really... Uh, <laughs> it, 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 it's it's, it's never-ending story, but, you know, people are, are not... Con content where, where they are, they want to progress, which That's is right. again like amazing. On one side you can say that okay the competition is somewhat severe here, yes. but on the other hand that, that self-motivation push to, to get ahead is quite admirable I think. Yeah it is. And you know, you, you know, look where Korea comes from, it's amazing. Really amazing. So you know I always am very uh, surprised but also you know I'm proud to be able to contribute some yes, of that development. Right. Right. So that's uh, that's quite Quite unique. Mm, fantastic. So, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, I'm just gonna take the next one. Okay. So, it's time for Let's Learn About Korea. In this short segment, we will take a peek at how foreigners view Korea as culture. So, I guess one of the biggest things about culture is food. That's right. Mr. P, what is your favorite Korean food? Oh, I think bibimbap is just such bibimbap. a common, common mm. thing that everyone loves. And uh -huh. what I love about bibimbap is 
that we put all the ingredients together, mm -hmm. that the family comes all together and, you know, traditionally it was a dish of, you know, we assemble everything that is left over, put it together and make it a great mm, dish. Right, right. And, and what is nice today, I mean, of course, it has evolved from what it was, <laughs> but uh, I like that thinking. And, you know, it's also very Korean right. to bring things together and eat as one team or one family mm, or one right. unit, uh, unit together. So, so yeah, bibimbap would be one, but, you know, after you could have it. Okay. So, I, I, I've heard that you're actually quite involved in CSR activities as well. Y yes, and we are. And are there any specific organizations that you are particularly supportive of? Yeah, we, we, you know, CSR is important for multiple aspects, mm -hmm. you know, it, it always reminds you to be... Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt, but because I'm an uneducated person, what is CSR again? Corporate Social, Social. Responsibility, uh, so wow. it, it's basically giving back to the community you're in, so we, we might be fortunate enough to have, you know, the job we have, to mm -hmm. have been educated, to whatever you have received, you know, it's very important you give back, because it gives you perspective on life, we support the... Uh, breast cancer awareness uh, awareness uh, program, mm -hmm. and we do that for multiple reasons. And you know, this is why I'm wearing pink That's today. That's why you're wearing pink today, right? Ah. Even your folder is pink. Today. <laughs> My folder is pink. Let us begin our breast cancer quiz. Do you think, or did you know, that men can have breast cancer? Do you think they can have breast cancer? I don't know. What do you guys think? I think it's a trick question. So yes, I believe men can have breast cancer because we have breasts, don't we? Maybe it's not common, but it's possible. It's not common, but it is actually possible. Okay. So, you know, uh, this is important to know, right? Mm -hmm. So men can have breast cancer in the US, actually. Oh, okay. Uh, if you uh, look at the statistics of US and apply the same statistics to right. Korea, which 150 men in Korea today have oh, breast wow. cancer. Okay. Wow. So it's not that small. Sure, right? okay. that's small. If you have... Um, breast nodule mm -hmm. that is less than two centimeters so stage one and stage two right. what is your what are your chances of survival chances if it's detected early be, be below two centimeters chances of survival you're I don't know I would say 100 percent 100 percent survival rate it, yeah it's sure. close to 100 percent oh wow oh, wow oh, two centimeters is quite yeah, it's quite, quite big. But, but stage like, one and two, if you detect like early, big. you can have you know almost 100% survival oh. rate. But if it's later, it goes down to 60 or even lower than that. No wow. Kidding. So oh, the no. importance Drop of detecting early, early detection, is, early detection is so critical. Tell this information mm. around you sure, so that sure. we are we are sure that you know people who have breast cancer can detect early and have higher right, chances right. of survival. Just it as so, much as can. so here is for you. Well, thank you very much. Here is for oh, you. Oh, thank you. It's for our driver who thank needs to continue driving. This very unique, old and you know, a lot of history, and on the other side you see the complete modernity. So we are out of the car, as you can see, and we are surrounded by beautiful artworks, photographs of Korea, it looks like. We are going to have a challenge. How confident do you feel in your knowledge of art? Zero. I mean, I know names. Dang. Dang. <laughs> so we are going to have a quick challenge here. A couple questions. Okay, everybody's ready? Yes. Okay, so first question. Is it true that uh, the most expensive painting sold in auction was by Van Gogh? Three, two, one. Oh, oh! Le Wong. Yeah! <laughs> the most expensive uh, painting sold in auction was by Picasso. Yes! You saw me whisper that before he said the answer. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
artist is Peck Namjoon. Video, the video. Yeah, the video. Video art father. Father is he? Is a Peck Namjoon. Three, two, two one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. good. Okay, that was too easy, I guess. Okay, last question. Last question. Uh, Don't say quoi means uh, monochrome paintings. Is it right or wrong? Three, two, one. Ah. Yes, Don't say quoi means uh, monochrome. Ah! <laughs> Trend of the Korean market. Ah, okay. Don't say quoi. So, who is the most famous artist? Maybe it's uh, Park Sobo, which is a uh, master of Don't say quoi. First question, how many nails are used to build Anok? How are you doing this? Are we not? He said first, right? He said first. first. I would say zero nails are used yeah. in Anok. Zero? Is that correct? Yeah. Zero? So we made of wood. Okay. It's really awesome that they're built with no nails. It's kind of like a puzzle. All the wood pieces are kind of interlinking with mm. each other. There, there are downside and upside of Ondol. Okay. As a way of showing respect to the elderly, Korean reserve this side for the elderly. Which side is it? Right side. Uh, downside or upside? Oh. <laughs> it looks like about the type of guess. The, the higher for the elderly, right? The elderly would be higher. The upside is the round upside, right? That side faces the, the elderly. No? I don't know. Yes. Correct. <laughs> ah. yes. Well, I didn't know what the question was. <laughs> when you confused me, then what? Wow. Uh, it's, oh. it's closer to the fire. Yeah. Ah, okay. Sudden death question, but happy I've told you are out. But you know, I hate to take happy people out. But uh, out of the two of you. Let me ask you a simple question. Do you think women who are doing breastfeeding or have children have more or less chances to have breast cancer? I would say less. I could say neither. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter? You're right. It's less. So, master sample again. <laughs> so, uh, you've been with DHL and now you're with uh, to League Pharma. So, what is your uh, your concept of being a good leader for a global company? Mm -hmm. Today, the, he, they defined uh, four characteristics for, for, for leaders. The first one is about being curious. Okay. Uh, the second one is having insights. Mm -hmm. So you know, do not hesitate to go in detail right. and and get down to the. The un real understanding of what's happening. A third one was engagement, so okay. engaging teams, which is still something that you know. In Korea, you can see the new generations are demanding this, ah, yes. and, and you know people assume they have authority. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. <laughs> you have to engage the team to right, really get right, the best right. out of them. Mm -hmm. And the last one was determination, which mm -hmm. frankly Korea is amazing for. Right? Right, people right. have strong, strong determination. And if you look at these four characteristics. You know, the curiosity helps you uh, innovate and, 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 and continue to challenge yourself and, uh -huh. and not stay in a, you know, an old business model, an old, an old paradigm. Uh -huh. And of course the insight gives you tools to improve what you're doing sure, and, sure. And, and, you know, uh, change. Then engagement, you know, you're nobody as yourself, right? right, you, right, you're, right. You, you, you represent the team and uh -huh. the team is what, what makes uh, what makes a company, and of course the last one, you know, is determination. So when you decide something, you know, make sure you get it done. Mm -hmm. and it's, you can see the results you know, in Korea right, itself, right? Right, right. So I'm kind of curious in, uh, in regard to the, the pharma industry here in Korea. So we were talking before you, uh, before you got in about how Koreans are very health conscious, and, and I'm, I'm aware generally that the pharma industry here is big. Sure. Right, so can I, we have your perspective on the local? Sure, and we are a major player in, in the pharma industry. Uh -huh. we, we do maybe 20-25% of the 
pharmaceutical drugs go through our, our facilities. So oh, really? it's, wow. it's a big responsibility we feel. Mm -hmm. and, and we, you know, you have multinational companies, local companies, right. and we, we all work to, at the end, to help patients. Mm -hmm. And we have moved from just doing our you know, traditional distribution activity right. to getting much closer to patients. Oh, okay. So we get, we get closer to what is it we can do to affect mm -hmm. their health. Okay. So we, we, we have a vision oh, in the so company called bringing health to community. Okay, bringing health to community, okay. And, and you know, when you are able to gather all the forces and all the strength of the okay. company to the, a single vision like right. this, it's actually amazing to see the transformation it can create. Mm -hmm. okay. Because we were distribution now is bringing health to community, so it opens up a lot of things in right. the company. Right. What is your philosophy on life? I, I think in life you have, you know, follow who you are. Mm -hmm. Follow who you are. You know, Very just like just, just don't follow the other. I mean, listen to the others. Mm -hmm. Be humble. Right. Listen, right. but you know. It's your own life, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so you have to follow who you are right, first, right, right. Mm -hmm. and of course, you know, get all the input from everybody else. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think it, that's a that's a good motto to live by. Yeah. Something we always like to ask: uh, What are your future goals, or do you have any future goals? You know, I, I would love to have enough savings so I can <laughs> I can follow some of my passions ah, and my dreams, okay. right? And um, you know, they, they would include some tastes, so ah, whether food, right, wine, right. Or, ah. uh, but. Also, I think uh, I would still like to bring something to the community. Mm -hmm. Also, as a business leader, you can influence. Right. Mm -hmm. You can influence the outcome to the world. So, yes, I'd love to have some some impact on, on you know in, in my life and on, okay. on, on people around me and do good for the community. Mm -hmm. Great. How do we feel like we just stepped back a hundred years? <laughs> <laughs> It's yeah, beautiful. It's a beautiful house. Yeah. Thank you so much for inviting us here. So, looking around, uh, how do you, how does it feel living in such a historical, a historical building? Uh, you feel like you live in the spirit of Korea. Mm. Yeah. Is there is there one specific reason you can tell us for why you enjoy living in a place like this in Hano rather than some modern apartment? Because uh, I love having a uh, lot of sun, mm -hmm. you know, a little garden, and this is the traditional way of living in Korea, actually. Mm -hmm. This is so unique, right? You have mm -hmm. no yeah, vis-a-vis. -vis. If, right. if you have an apartment, you can see many people around you. But sure. here, mm -hmm. in the Hanok, that I find so unique, the way it's designed, you see nobody else. And you have like your own privacy, your own mm -hmm. place. Mm -hmm. you know? How many of us and have that? What kind of modernization inside? Like what kind of creature comforts have you got? Okay, so people expect like uh, there is no toilet. Mm -hmm. or, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or it's very cold during the winter. Uh, Actually, it's, uh, there is a undol. Ah, okay, yeah. sure. So yes, <laughs> you know, I know the undol, the heated floor, <laughs> right? Heated floor, yeah. And we have uh, all the bathroom and toilet. So it's mm -hmm. a very modern home. Actually. Okay, for you to show us around. Yeah, sure. You're welcome. Uh, oh, cool. okay. Wow. Let's go. Okay. This is amazing. This is the thing like we were talking about before between the old and the new. Correct. So we have history and then we've got a TV. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. So this, is, this is basically Korea. Yeah, yeah. In a nutshell, yeah. this is a Korean room. Right. I love high And these are higher than most Korean apartment ceilings exactly. today. That's true. Yeah. So it's been a really special week cruise for us today, as you can see with these beautiful surroundings. So I'd first like to thank Fabian for inviting us to your gallery and to your beautiful home here. Yes, and thanks for cool. visiting. Okay. Thank you. And of course, alas, I also want to thank our special guest, Christophe, for sharing your insight and your time with us today. Thank you. Merci beaucoup to you as well. Right. So uh, at the end of every program, we ask our special guest to give some kind of inspirational message to our viewers. I usually use three letters. Mm. That I call H B O. In, in Korean, you know, H. I use that word for how sweet that can do. Catchy mm -hmm. So all together, right. nothing, nothing is impossible. Is possible. Ah, and this is very I much. I really Korean. like that. H B O. Oh. Perfect. Thanks. All right, Christoph, would you like to join us in saying goodbye to our viewers today? Yes, of course. All right, everyone. See you next time on, on Beakers.